This is an electrically operated deluge system. The primary components for the deluge system include the Viking F1 deluge valve straight through pattern with the associated conventional trim. The deluge valve itself is, uh, has three chambers in it. The primary chambers are the inlet chamber, the outlet chamber, which is connected to the trim, and the priming chamber. The priming chamber is full of water, and that is what's actually going to be holding the deluge valve closed. The primary component on the conventional trim is the PORV device, this device right here. Uh, this is a safety device that's used to uh, keep the valve open and vent the priming water after discharge so the valve doesn't close itself. Other major components on the uh, conventional trim for electric release are the manual release station, um, which overrides the electric release and if this ball valve is operated will trip the system. The 24 volt normally closed, um, 24 volts DC normally closed solenoid, which is connected to the release control panel, is the primary means of activation, and the um, water pressure switch, which is used to indicate a water flow alarm after the deluge valve is hop operated. Over here is the release control panel for electric release. That's going to be the interface between the solenoid and the initiating devices. The initiating devices are typically smoke detectors or heat detectors, or they can be specialty devices such as flame detectors or beam type detectors. When the initiating device is activated, the panel will go into an alarm state and power open the 24 volt solenoid and allow the system to trip. On deluge systems, the actual discharge devices are open devices. No longer are we using automatic sprinklers. All the devices will be open. So every device, every discharge device on the piping network will discharge water when this system is activated. And when the system goes into alarm, the deluge valve, the priming water will be released out of the priming chamber. The deluge valve will open and water will move throughout the uh, piping network. Okay, the system is activated. You can see on the release control panel, we're in an alarm state at this point. The zone one, which the smoke detectors are attached to, is in alarm, and the panel in turn has powered open the solenoid, which has relieved the priming pressure. This is the gauge that indicates that the priming pressure has been relieved off of the deluge valve. The first step in resetting this system is always to close the water supply control valve to isolate water from the system so we can begin to drain down the system riser and the associated piping network. Right now the panel has also picked up the uh, and is enunciating a supervisory alarm because the water supply control valve has been removed off its normal open position to a closed position. We can silence that at the panel with the tone silence button. Now it's recommended on deluge system risers to also install a means to drain it down. So we have one installed here and I'll open this valve up. This will drain all the water in the associated piping network. We're also going to relieve the pressure off of the conventional trim so we can reset the PORV device and then reestablish prime pressure on the deluge valve. At this point we'll also open up our flow test valve to remove any remaining water that's in the bowl of the deluge valve itself. Now at this point, all the uh, water and the trim piping and the, uh, and the system riser has been drained down, so we can go ahead and reset the release control panel, which is going to remove power from the 24 volt uh, normally closed solenoid and allow priming pressure to reestablish itself on the deluge valve. We can go ahead and close the valves that we've opened to drain the system down. The flow test, we're going to close most of the way. We're going to leave that open partially as part of our reset procedure uh, to prevent uh, excessive pressure from hitting the bottom of the clapper when we're opening it up. And we'll make sure that we close the drain on the system riser. Now at this point, we can go ahead and open up the water supply control valve partially and develop flow through the inlet chamber of the deluge valve and then fully close our flow test valve. Once this is done, we can open the water supply control valve the remainder of the way.
At this point, we can reset the release control panel, remove the remaining supervisory alarm, and the system will be back in the operational state.